In this video, we will discuss about capacitance type differential pressure transmitter. There are different types of uh, DP transmitters like a fuser resist 2 type, fuser electric type, um, and force balancing uh, type, capacitance type, and many other are there. Out of all these capacitance type, a DP transmitter is commonly used in industries. DP transmitter can be used for measuring of uh, many different uh, process variables. So, one basic variable is the pressure variable. So, both gauge and differential pressures can be measured. And other is the most important uh, uh, variable that is flow variable, which can be measured by using the differential uh, pressure flow meters. In DP flow meter, the um, primary sensing element uh, is maybe an orifice or venturi or nozzle, elbow pitot tube and uh, these uh, primary sensing element um, whenever they are inserted in the flowing uh, fluid uh, pipeline so this will cause a pressure drop so this uh, pressure drop is measured by the dp transmitters and it is uh, directly proportional to the flow rate and it is given as q is proportional to the square root of the delta p here in this animation we can see the fluid uh, flow uh, will cause a pressure drop in the downstream of uh, the uh, restriction that is which is uh, the primary sensing element and dp transmitter will also use it for the measurement of uh, level variable and also the density variable so before going to discuss further so we'll see what are the different types of pressures so in the figure a so it is a representation of the differential pressure which is the difference between the pressure applied uh, to the uh, different ends of uh, the sensor. DP transducers are commonly known as delta transmitters are, and are used in the flow measurement. DP transducer is the basic pressure measurement device. Means we are measuring the pressure with respect to some difference. So DP transducer is the basic pressure measurement device. In the figure B, if one mm, pressure input to the DP transducer is left open, the device indicates crash pressure, and it is generally with reference to the atmospheric pressure. And C will represent an absolute pressure that is measured with respect to a vacuum, and ideally it is a zero pressure. So uh, figure D will represent the head pressure that is used for the measurement of the liquid uh, level measurement and this refers to the pressure in terms of the height of the liquid. So you know that pressure that is um, generated um, by the liquid is proportional to the rho gh which is the density and uh, specific uh, gravity and uh, the height of the liquid. So flow measurement by using the DP transmitter here we can see uh, uh, the different configuration of the left side will show the flow measurement by using orifice and the pitot tube. So the orifice and pitot tube will cause a pressure drop. So the difference in the pressure is measured by the DP transmitter and which is proportional to the square root of uh, the delta P. It means the flow rate is proportional to the square root of the delta P. Here um, the the tappings uh, means from the pipe the pressure drop uh, in the pipeline that is caused by the primary sensing element is tapped to the um, dp uh, transmitted uh, through the impulse lines on the three-way manifold level and density measurement using dp transmitter so the level measurement uh, is done by using a dp transmitter so we know that uh, the pressure that is exerted by the um, level of the liquid is proportional to uh, the pressure so which is given by uh, rho gh so the height of the liquid is measured by uh, measuring uh, the pressure differential pressure which is given by delta p by rho g here the density and g that is specific um, acceleration due to gravity is uh, constant then the measured differential pressure is directly proportional to the height of the liquid and it also used for measurement of the density so whenever if you maintain a constant head that is height um, in the tank so the differential pressure measured is directly proportional to the density which is given by density equal to delta p by hg here the h is constant we are because we are maintaining constant head in the tank and g is a constant that is an acceleration due to gravity and uh, the equation uh, for this uh, capacitance type uh, differential pressure transmitter uh, can be derived um, as shown we know that the capacitance of two parallel plates is given by epsilon a by d which epsilon r which is uh, given by epsilon naught into epsilon r by a in a by d where epsilon naught is the permittivity of the free space and epsilon r is the relative permittivity or the dielectric constant of the material
so the disadvantage with this two parallel plate arrangement is so um, it is uh, the relation between the capacitance and uh, distance between the plates is inverse and also the sensitivity drops significantly with large graphs as shown in this uh, graph so to overcome the advantage of single ended capacitor so differential capacitance type uh, dp transducer is used here in uh, dp transmitter there are three plates so one is moving uh, plate that is sensing diaphragm which is in the center and the other two plates um, are at the uh, other end means either side of this uh, sensing diaphragm uh, so this is uh, clearly understood in this uh, here so here P, P1 is the pressure that is applied on the one side of the DP transmitter through an isolating diaphragm. So P2 is the other pressure that is applied on the other side of the DP transmitter. It is also applied to the sensing diaphragm. So in the first case, if we consider whenever the P1 pressure is greater than P2 pressure, so this uh, Pressure will causes the sensing diaphragm that is mobile moving plate to move towards the plate two. This causes the capacitance C to uh, increase compared to the capacitance C one. And similarly, if you see if P one is less than P two, in that case the sensing diaphragm that is movable plate moves towards uh, the plate one. In that case, the C one capacitance is higher compared to the C two capacitance. So this uh, pictorial representation is shown in uh, this figure. So the C1 and C2 are the variable capacitors. And the equation for the differential uh, capacitance type DP transmitter is as, uh, derived as shown in this equation. So whenever the pressures P1 and P2 are equal, so the voltages that is measured across these two uh, uh, capacitors is equal uh, then the differential voltage v2 minus v1 equal to zero and whenever the pressure p2 is greater than p1 so the mobile plate will move um, towards uh, the fixed plate uh, one in that case the distance between the fixed plate one and uh, the mobile plate becomes d minus x and the distance between the mobile plate and the fixed plate uh, two will becomes d plus x and if you derive the capacitance and voltage equations so finally we will get this which is delta v equal to v into x by d so the output voltage that is measured is linearly proportional to the change in displacement x of the capacitor plates this is because of the differential pressure thank you for watching my video